Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and I want to welcome you to the first episode of Romario's Return to Rio. It's going to be an RTG Road to Glory style series where I basically have Romario from the start. The legend card, the Brazilian 5 star skiller uh, and I am going to be building up through some different Brazilian squads and eventually end up with something awesome. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any Ultimate Team coins, then be sure to check out the fifashop.co.uk and use the code LA5TY in order to get yourselves a nice 5% discount. Links are down below in the description, guys. As you can see here in the background, we're basically just starting up a new account here on Ultimate Team. We've called it Romario's Return, and uh, this is the starter pack that I do get given. Once it sort of rolls around, you'll be able to see the players that I get given right from the get-go. Uh, you get a couple of gold players, or two or three, I can't remember how many it is. Uh, as it loads in right here, we get ourselves two gold players and a silver player. Oh no, three gold players, sorry. Um, and the squad is not looking too great. I mean, loads of horrible bronzes and the chemistry is just awful. Um, one of the golds we got here is called Lestien, 86 pace. Uh, looks to be a pretty solid player, but we will be you know, aiming to get rid of him so we can build up through some Brazilian squads. I'll get more onto like the rules of this series and the path that I'm going to go down as we move on in this video. But to start things off then, we do get ourselves a reward pack. You know, EA decided to give me a bronze pack to start things off, um, which is great because I needed a player that I could actually trade so that I can get Romario over to this account. So we open up this bronze player pack and basically what I do is just have a little flick through, see, see who we get, uh, and I end up just sending all of these players off to the trade pile because they will be useful to me in the coming future. So, basically, here we go. I've received a trade offer on one of the players I got in this pack, which I put up on the market. Received a trade offer and I can't see who the player is. Now, that only leads me to believe one thing, and that is that there is a legend in here. Because, as you all know, you cannot see legends when you trade them over. Uh, for some reason, it's a little glitch. But as you can see here, as he does load in, we get ourselves the 90-rated legend Romario card. Uh, and this is the whole base of the series. We are basically going to be uh, running through using loads of different players and stuff and just playing as many games as we can in order to actually just do a road to glory. I've never done one and I really wanted to and I really wanted to use Romario. So after I put him into the squad, this is sort of one of the best things that I could come up with. Uh, with the initial starter squad, you know, we end up getting 68 chemistry, which is pretty damn good if I do say so. Uh, and we make use of the three gold players and the silver player that we actually did get right from the start. So Romario then, you might be wondering why is it that I'm doing this series with him? Well, he is one of two legends, which has five star skill moves, um, the other one being Pele, and I don't actually think there's ever been one out on the market to date. Uh, if you're wondering roughly the price of Romario, I paid for him 3.7 million coins, but obviously traded him over to this account. He has got 91 pace, 89 dribbling, 86 shooting, uh, and notably he's got 99 finishing. So hopefully he should be an absolute legend for us. Now he's most notably, you know, he's most known for playing for Barcelona, PSV, as you can see in his claim to fame area here, which I think is a really good touch from EA to put in um, a little bit of background knowledge. So you guys could pause that if you did want to find out a little bit more about Romario. So this episode, this first episode, I won't be showing you any gameplay. I just wanted to basically talk to you guys about the series in general. So guys, basically the idea for this series is for me to go uh, from scratch, from the team that we got given right at the start, to end up with a gold team of Brazilians with some informed players and basically a really nice squad. So as you can see on your screens right now, the path that I have chosen uh, to get, the, get to my final result 
is as follows. We're going to start off by working our way towards a non-rare gold Brazilian squad. Um, because they are very cheap. And hopefully we should find a few hidden gems along the way. Um, so that, that squad I could probably have very, very quickly. Because uh, as you'll see in a minute with the, the bonuses I'm going to be giving myself for winning games, scoring goals, stuff like that. Uh, I should really be able to afford the non-rare gold team very, very quickly. Now, the reason why I've put Brasilvas in the middle is because even though they are a lower rating, they're more sought after, they're more expensive. Silver players are obviously more expensive than non-rare golds. Um, so that is sort of a step up in the way that we get a few more five star skillers we can enter the silver tournament you know and that is the second area that you know that I'm going to head for once I've built the non-rare gold team my next aim using my coins that I earn from scoring goals winning games and stuff um, will be to basically build a really nice Brasilva squad uh, and then once we've got that the eventual end goal will be to build a lovely gold Brazilian team with some informs in there as well. So we're going to be hoping for the likes of Neymar, you know, Hulk, people like that, inform Diego Costa maybe, someone like that. You know, this is the sort of squad that I'm going to be going for. So it's going to take quite a lot of coins. So if we move over to the rules of this Romario's return to Rio, basically what I'm going to be doing is this. As you can see on your screen, um, I'm going to be giving myself goal bonuses and match bonuses. So, if Romario scores a goal, he will get 4,000 coins. So, I will get 4,000 coins every time Romario scores a goal. If he assists in a goal, I will give myself 2,000 coins. Uh, and if he gets a hat-trick, rather than just getting 4K, 8K, 12K, he'll actually get 15K. So, a bit of a bonus for him to actually score a hat-trick. Now, if any other player scores, uh, that I'm going to give myself 2K as well. So, as you can tell from that, they're quite high. Um, so the initial gold team will probably come really, really quickly. But uh, the Brasilvas and the expensive gold team will actually take quite a while to earn. Because I've got to buy people like Neymar, you know. So eventually that will sort of work its way out. It might seem like this series is quite easy to start off with. But believe me, guys, it's going to be a bit of a challenge um, going forward. So the match bonuses then. If I win a game, I'm going to give myself an extra 5,000 coins. And I'm going to give myself the ability to open two gold packs with FIFA points. Now, if I draw a game, I'll get no match bonus, um, but I will give myself one gold pack, you know, out of the FIFA points as well. And if I get a loss, I will receive no extra match bonuses, but I will be able to, ta you know, cash in on any goals that maybe Romario scored or whatever. You know, I could, if Romario scored a goal, but I lost 2-1, well, I'm still going to get myself 4K, which is pretty decent. So we should always be earning a little bit of money, which is good. Um, so that is basically the rules, guys. Um, the other rule that I'm going to set myself is that with this initial non-rare gold team, uh, I won't let myself, you know, if, say, I won the first match 5-0, you know, Romario got a hat trick, you know, all of this. I'm going to end up with like 25, 30k right off the bat. And I could easily afford the non-rare gold team. Now, right at the start, I'm going to not allow myself to buy any more than two players in between each game. So, it's going to take a fair few games for me in order to uh, actually build up the full non-rare gold team. And then we'll move over onto the Brasilvas. So, I hope you like the idea, guys. If you do, what I really want is from you is to drop a like on the video. If you have enjoyed so far and you want to see me get into some gameplay and stuff like that tomorrow then you guys need to let me know by leaving a like leaving a comment and just generally supporting this series if you choose to that would be epic of you guys so thank you for watching dudes and i will catch you tomorrow peace